So give me one for my money There's nobody, no one surround me Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kay and as you can see by the title today we are going to be trying out MAC lip combos. I am a MAC lip kind of girl. MAC has the best lipstick, the best lip gloss, the best lip liners. They have it all. They have their formulas down pat. And I'm also going to be trying out the Tiana Taylor collection. I'm a bit late on this one, but I'm giving you a bit extra. I'm giving you other options. So yeah, I just want to get right into it. So um, I didn't get everything from the Tiana Taylor collection, but I got like a few picks. Like I got the red lipstick, I got the brown lipstick, and I got the nude lipstick. I didn't get the purple lipstick because it was a bit out of my comfort zone. I don't know why, because back in the day, I used to love a purple lip. Like back in the day, purple lip was me. But that was a long time ago. We've moved on from that chapter of life. But I do want to get back into colours, but... I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be a whole bunch of nudes. <laughs> I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of nude MAC lip combos. So yeah, let's get right into it. So I got the orange lipstick, which is called Good Morning. And it looks like this. So this is like your typical MAC nude. And it comes with a lip gloss as well. And I believe this collection is limited edition, but let me just say the packaging is stunning. Like, I know MAC um, kind of likes to stick to their traditional bullet type of packaging. Sometimes they'll change it up with like the colors or whatnot when it comes to collections. And they always actually, they turn out, they show up and they do good packaging. But this is something different, something stunning. And I tried to do matchy matchy with my neon top, but yeah, I love, love 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 the packaging so i didn't get any of the liners in the collection because the liners are like staple mac lip liners and if you have them you have them so let me swatch the lipstick out for you it's very creamy as mac lipsticks are and so what the color looks like this reminds me of both yash and velvet teddy so basically if yash and velvet teddy had a baby this would be this color i think and i love both yash and velvet teddy so let me swatch them alongside so this is Velvet Teddy and this is Yash. As you can see, Velvet Teddy is a bit more on the pink side and Yash is a bit more nude. And if you mix them together, I think this is what you might get. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with the NYX Urban Cafe Lip Liner. And then we're going to go in with Good Morning. So cute. So if you are not new to this channel, you are going to know that this, this is a bit of me. This is like my kind of lip combo. I love it. This is my nude. I love, I love, I love. So stunning. Then I'm going to top it off with the lip gloss, which is called Gonna Love Me. So yeah, this is this lip combo and it is gorgeous. I love it. I love it. But yeah, this is your everyday run of the mill nude combo from me. But like, of course, I'm going to be head over heels because this is just, this is my vibe. This is my zhuzh. This is a bit of me. So yeah. But anyway, let's keep it moving because we got a lot to get through. I'm giving you 10 combos today. So yeah, let's keep it moving. So the next lip combo we are gonna try is the green combo. So this was originally paired with chestnut and I already have chestnut so we're gonna go with the traditional pairing of it. I particularly love this combo because of the name. Oh my god, if this isn't me. So it said, I got a man but I ain't got no manners. So this is called, I got a man and this is called, but I ain't got no manners. And I'm just like, yes, yes. <laughs> So let's go ahead and line our lips with chestnut. This is like the staple black girl lip liner. Like almost every single black girl has tried this lip liner. And if you haven't, you don't have to because there's some dupes. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead. Mm. 
I love this lip liner. It just gives me them 90s vibes. Like, I feel like my mom right now. Especially with this hair, with these earrings. This whole fit is giving me my mom. <laughs> This is exactly how my mom used to dress when she was my age. And yeah, this is what the lipstick looks like. It's like this rich brown. Let me swatch it for you. So this reminds me of two lipsticks that I have. Most especially, it reminds me of Well, but it also reminds me of Taupe. But Taupe is a bit more on the reddish side, whereas Well is a bit more purpley. So this first one here is um, I Got A Man, and it is super very similar to, to Wow. And then this is Taupe right here. Taupe used to be my favorite lipstick by MAC, but yeah, but let's try it on. I love this. I love it. I love, oh my gosh. I'm not gonna lie to you, I am in love already. I kinda don't wanna put the lip gloss on, but I kinda have to. But yeah, take it in. Enjoy this. <laughs> but yeah, let's get into the lip gloss. So the lip gloss is like a brown with some gold sparkles, and it's really cute. It reminds me of Oh Baby, which I had, but my mom lost it. I love me a MAC lip gloss because they give me everything. They give me color, they give me sparkle, they give me pigment. Depending on what you want, they give it to you. I love it. So yeah, this lip combo is bomb. It's beautiful, it's sultry. It's giving you 90s regal everything it's giving me everything but it's time for it to go so we can make way for another lip combo <laughs> so for the next lip combo i'm going to be using the red lipstick which is called a rose in harlem it's so beautiful Oof, stunning so i'm gonna line my lips with chestnut now let's apply the lipstick This lip combo, <laughs> I think, just get used to me saying that I, I love it because I'm, I'm gonna love them all. This lip combo is beautiful. It might not go with my whole lip today, which to be honest, I don't think it's that off. I think it's stunning. Um, this gives me feisty red. I like when my red is punchy. I feel like maybe I shouldn't have used chestnut as a lip liner because it's making it a little bit too dark around the edges but i think it's still stunning and with this set i did not get the red lip gloss because to be honest red lip gloss is not something that i wear often however i do have a red lip gloss um in my collection and this is the soap soap and glory lip gloss in sexy motherfucker and the shade the berry thing so the berry thing actually so let me put that on just to complete the look and fulfill the fantasy So yeah, this is it. And a lot of girls are not into glossy red lips, but for me, a glossy red lip is everything. I love a glossy red lip because I feel like it just looks so sexy, so beautiful. It just gives me a different kind of vibe. Just like love this but it is time to go so that is the last of the tiana taylor collection products that i have and now we're going to be moving into permanent mac lipsticks so for this next combo we're going to go in with chestnut then we're going to go into one of my favorite lipsticks yash and then we're going to go over that with this mini lip gloss in the shade light lovely little lovely sorry So yeah, this is lip combo number four. This is one of my favorites. I love what I like to call a bold nude, which is basically a nice bold lip liner, but with a um, light nude in the middle. This is a very 90s lip to me, and I love it. But yeah, on to the next. So lip combo number five is a very simple one. It's just a liner and a gloss, and this used to be one of my favorite combos to rock back in the day. 
and I really need to bring it back because it's cute. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with Plum Lip Liner by MAC. So the camera cut off while I was recording, but this is, ah, oh, this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite combos. It's very simple, very easy to use. And when I used to work at MAC, everybody always used to ask me what was on my lips. It's basically a peach lip gloss, but sometimes it looks a little bit pink. And then with that lip liner, it just defines the lips and it's just a very juicy, cute, summery lip combo. And I love it. I always love anything with like a hint of orange on my lips because I just feel like it brings out my skin tone. Like, it just and looks very fresh on me. I love it. If I minimize my net, where would you still have me? So yeah, that is this combo and let's quickly move on to the next one. So for lip combo number six, we are going to use the Morphe lip pencil in the shade Vibes. It's quite similar to Chestnut, but it's a bit more warm, a bit lighter. So this is Chestnut and this is Vibes and we're going to go in with Vibes today. And we're going to go in with the Lipstick Velvet Teddy. I love this combo on its own but I'm going to add a gloss on top because it just adds a different element to this look. Mm, I love this on its own. I usually do wear this on its own, but sometimes you just want to spice it up a little bit. And then when I want to spice it up a little bit, I go in with the Grand Illusion Gloss in the shade Just Hustling. And this is like a pinky, blue, iridescent kind of gloss. And it just takes this gloss, this lip combo to the next level. So as you can see, it just adds like a different shift to it. And it just... Mm, I love it. I love it. I don't want to explain too much, but you know, you can see, you know the vibes, like, <laughs> let's just appreciate. Keep it a hundred, I'd rather you trust me than to love me. Keep it a whole one, a hundred, don't so, yeah, you the, love So um, yeah, the Grand Illusion glosses are like a little bit minty, plumping, but me personally, I like that. I like, I like the feeling of like a minty feeling on my lips. It's just something I'm into. But yeah, it's not very harsh, it's not painful at all, so don't let that dissuade you, but just so you know. So yeah, on to the next one. So for this next lip combo, we're going to be using the Essence Draw The Line Lip Liner in the shade Rich Mahogany. I love this lip liner. And we're going to be pairing that with taupe lipstick. So this is what I'm not going to pair with a lip gloss. And this comes to the time in the video where my lip line is getting a little bit messy because, because I'm changing my lip combo up. So just ignore the little splotchy lines here and there and get into the lipstick because this is a very lovely stunning combo. I said earlier that um, Taupe used to be my favourite lipstick by MAC and this is why. Look how beautiful it is against my skin. This is like the perfect nude. It's perfect for work, very work appropriate but also you can wear this out. It's just a very nice mature looking nude I got something. so yeah that is lip combo number seven and let's move on to number eight so the next lip combo we are trying out is um urban cafe by nyx i know it's not a mac product but <laughs> i'm gonna pair that with spite lip gloss which is a banger mm. yes this. <laughs> I really, 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 really love this lip combo. Like, Spite is one of them lip glosses that is always out of stock. <laughs> but like, to quick tip, if you have a lip gloss that you're trying to buy that's out of stock, try looking for it in a mini, because sometimes the minis will be in stock while the big sizes are out of stock. Hold up, we can function, no assumptions, feeling like tell yourself. So yeah, that is this combo. And now we are moving on to the next. So for lip combo number nine, I am going in with Chestnut. Then I'm using the Matte Lipstick Kinkster. And you can leave this like this, but I'm gonna put a gloss on top, a clear gloss. Originally, I didn't like this lip combo, but then my friend tricked me into buying this lipstick. And to be honest, 
I've grown to love it like especially with a lip gloss on top a clear lip gloss just finishes this lip combo and just makes it look that much nicer so this is like a very neutral brown nude it's like my skin tone basically but with that chestnut liner and that clear gloss on top mm, it's a very cute I get out twice I'm with it only for the night I'm kidding Homie for life, you're homie for life. So now we're gonna take this off and go on to our final lip combo. So for the final lip combo, I'm gonna use chestnut again. Oh, we have seen too much of chestnut in this video. And then we are gonna go into the lip gloss Dangerous Curves, which is like this beautiful mocha brown. This lip combo is absolutely gorgeous. It looks like a chocolate brownie. Mm. Like, I love this lip combo. Very sultry, very elegant, very melanated, you know? So that is it for today's video. Those are all 10 lip combos. And to be honest, I have quite a few more, but I just wanted to limit it to 10 because I feel like after 10, it kind of gets a bit like of a blur. You kind of lose interest. So if you do want to see more, let me know. But yeah, these are my 10 most favorite, well, seven most favorite, and then some three new ones to add to the list. Um, MAC lip combos. Um, there are so many more. There are so many glosses that I didn't get to talk about. So many lipsticks. Um, not that many more liners because chestnut is really just the goat. After chestnut, I do love plum. And weirdly enough, I've never tried cork. I just always felt like it would be slightly too light for my liking. But yeah. So yeah, that is it for today's video. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below and I would love to see you in the next one.